Hello and welcome to the Needle Creations Crochet Video Workshop. We're here to show you how to do some techniques along with some tips on how to create your crochet project. Today's segment is going to be on crochet sloth and the name of it is Speedy. Now your kit's going to come with everything that you're going to need except for a pair of scissors. We have our instruction sheet, our fiber fill, our yarns. If you take any of these out and they're not in a ball already like this one, I suggest you roll these into a ball. It makes it much easier to work with. You have the crochet hook, eyes, nose, needle. There's a great set of instructions. The skill level is listed as intermediate. Make sure that you understand your instructions before you begin and practice the stitches being used so that you don't become overwhelmed working on your project. Your kit will come with a 3.5 millimeter hook. It may be white, it may be blue. Many of us have our favorite hook, but we recommend you use the hook that comes with this kit to maintain gauge or the tension of your fabric so you won't run out of yarn. There's five different areas to a hook. The head, the throat or the neck, the shaft, the thumb rest, and then there's the handle. You can hold it like this, or you can hold it like this. The head of the hook is smaller and pointed, so it makes it easy to go in, but your stitch should always be equal with the shaft part of your hook, and that also will help you with your gauge. You may find that there's a little bit of a rough spot on the top of the head. Lightly smooth that out. Many crochet instructions will include a gauge check before you begin. Having the correct tension, which is how tight or loose you crochet, is important to your project coming out to the correct size and will ensure that you don't run out of yarn. You'll single crochet a swatch and you'll count the number of rows and stitches across to make sure that it matches what your instructions say. Also on your instructions, you're going to see your abbreviations. Make sure you understand each one, the colors of the yarn, the various stitches. If you have to repeat any instructions, you will see an asterisk or brackets, then your other abbreviations. Each instruction sheet will have great graphics on what stitches are used for this project. If you need a refresher to practice any of them, please check our crochet stitches video. We're going to begin this making the legs. So we're going to make the first one, fasten off, and then we're going to make the second one and join together. So we're going to begin with a slip knot on our hook. We're going to chain two, place five single crochet into that second chain. Make sure you have five stitches so you can count, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five. I try to keep a couple of markers handy. Have an extra different color. I use the gray that comes with the kit. So you're going to place a marker and work in a continuous round. So we're going to go into that first stitch and single crochet evenly around. So that's five stitches. So there's no increase on this first one. Two three, four, and five. And this can be a little tedious because the pieces are so small when you first begin. All right, we're gonna take the marker out, move it up. You can see right here was your last single crochet. So we're going to go into that next stitch and we're going to single crochet in the first two. So that's one, over here. This is two, 
Then we're going to increase in the next stitch. So that's two single crochet. One, two in the same stitch. So that's an increase. And then we're going to single crochet in the last two. One, two. So we've increased one stitch on that round, so that gives us six stitches. Going to place our marking. And you see, try to roll it out. I use my finger to kind of hold it in place. And then you're going to single crochet evenly around. So that's six stitches. Move our marker again and continue following the instructions to make your first leg fasten off and then make your second leg. When you begin, you have a tail. Let me pull this out so you can see. Pull this tightly. It's hard to get in there with your needle to stitch this down, so pull it tightly to make sure your end is closed. Okay, now we have our first leg done. And we've made our second one, and then we're going to join these to create the body. Let's move our marker again. So what we're going to do is, from this point, chain eight. This was the second leg. So we're going to chain eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and count your chains. They're like little V's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And then we're going to single crochet around the nine stitches of the first leg. So here is where your last stitch, I like to start there so I can kind of work over that end that I had. So I'll make my first stitch right there. Single crochet. So that's one, and I'm working over that tail end. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, you see this is where our chain come in. All right, pull that, tuck that down in there. All right, now we're going to come over. This is how we're going to start creating the body. That chain eight, you're going to work in each loop. So you're going to work eight single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, put that marker back, seven, eight, and then we're going to single crochet around the nine stitches on this one. back up and we've come around now okay now we have to go in 
to the loops on the opposite side of the chain. So you're going to do eight single crochet there. You see the loops? This is where you worked on the, the first side. We'll go in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have a habit of counting my stitches just to make sure that I'm getting the right count as I go around. So at this point you should have 34 stitches. This is where you're going to place your marker and then you continue on with the body increasing and then as you get closer to the top decreasing. Here's the completed body. So this is what your body and your legs are going to look like. And this is where you need to leave at least a 12 inch tail. When you get to about round 21, I suggest you go ahead and start putting a little bit of fill into the leg area so it makes it easier because you can see the opening is quite small. So and then it's, it's about up here, and that way you can get your legs stuffed. And then we'll open up our fiber fill and take it out of the package, because it's very packed, and I like to fluff it out a little bit. Makes it easier to work with. All right, and we'll just pull off a piece. And I use my fingers to just push it in there. You can use a pencil or I think you can buy wooden dowel stuffing sticks. I've seen them in uh, various craft stores. So you want his body fairly, fairly firm. And now we have our body completed. Now we're working on the head. Now it begins the same way that the legs did. You start with the chain two and you work in a continuous round following the instructions on your increases. When you get to round eight, after you've completed round eight on the last stitch, you're going to want to change color. But before you do that, what I suggest you do is get your needle, thread that tail that you had from the beginning, and you can do this before. I usually wait till I change color. And you're just going to kind of weave through the back of the stitches, and that will tighten that down. And you can clip that end. All right, there we go. Now we're ready. To change our color. So this is our last stitch. Right here we're going to insert the hook, pull a loop through, you're going to pick up your new color, and this is also where the marker goes, but I usually don't put the marker till the second round because I can see that obviously there's a color change. And just to make sure this is going to hold in place for you, I just tie a little knot, and then I work over those yarn ends. I'll show you. So what we're going to do now, this is after round eight, so we're, we're starting on round nine. You're going to single crochet in four stitches, then you're going to increase six times. Now that instruction is in brackets, and that's what that means. So I'm holding this down. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to increase. And we're going to do this six times.
right there we've completed our round this is where our marker goes continue following your instructions now on the next row we're just going to single crochet around at this point we're going to stop this is after round 11 set it aside the eyes are made three rounds working again in the round as as we've started the other pieces there's two of them position your eyes now you may want to just kind of eyeball this look at the photo that's on the package to help you see where you want to go i try to make the joining or the beginning of the rounds here underneath so that will be the chin area let's thread this and when you're cutting a tail have at least 10 to 12 inches when you're having to stitch something around like this. Probably 10 inches is enough for this. I have an extra long piece. We're going to make sure this is underneath for the chin area. Position an eye. I'd say round one, two, three of the nose area. And it comes right out to where you are here. And then just stitch these in place. You can whip stitch them or just use a few running stitches around. And just run this through to fasten it off in the back. Now that we have that part completed, we've also gone and completed the head to a point to where you'd be able to get your fingers in here and you punch in the nose and the eyes. Now you'll see you'll have, they're like plastic screws. The two round ones are for the eyes and there's a little triangle shape for the nose. And if you'll notice, the nose piece has a smaller plastic holders to go on it. Now these are like little cups. So what I'll do first is put the nose through the center. Find a place where you can kind of press it through. And you want to make sure you get it all the way through. Then you're going to take your plastic piece and place it over the end of the screw cup side down. And just kind of push. Sometimes they're a little difficult. All right, there we go. Make sure it's in the right position. And then we're going to take the eyes, position them through the center of the brown eye patch. And again, you've got quite a thickness here. Take your cup side to the fabric. There, punch in place. Position the other eye. punch that in place. All right, we have our face starting to shape up. All right, then you're going to continue working on the head. Get down to the last couple of rounds. Stuff your head, make sure it's nice and firm. We're going to finish our last round where we single crochet two stitches together around. So there's 12 stitches and we're going to decrease down to six. So that's working two stitches together. So that was one. The decrease is where you're pulling up a loop in two stitches then yarn over and through three loops on the hook. So that becomes a decrease. And it gets a little awkward when you have the fiber fill in the head. Just take it slow, be patient. And 
and there we're finished. Now, when I finish off around, I like to go ahead and just slip stitch to kind of close that off. Pull my yarn through, take the needle, weave through those stitches to close the opening. And just run that back and forth a few times. And now your head's complete. Now we're going to work on the hat. And again, this is made working in continuous rounds as the other pieces have been. Now this is continuing to increase. On round 14, you're going to change your color, which we've shown you how to do. And then you're going to make one complete round in that color. So I've come all the way around. And then we're going to do an edging, and that's in reverse single crochet. And I'm just going to slip stitch in that first stitch there where I've changed my color. Chain one, and to work a reverse single crochet, you're going to go backwards. So we're working into the stitch to the right. Insert your hook, pull the loop through, pull through two. Insert again, and see it's, it starts creating a ridge. And you may need to practice this a little bit. Sometimes the hook will get caught on the yarn. So just be patient and work slowly. And you can see we're creating a nice little edge. We have the edging completed around the hat, wove in the ends. Now we're going to put everything together. We have our head, we have the arms, and the body, and we're ready to stitch them together. And again, this is where you need at least a 12 inch tail when you've completed your body, just to make sure you have enough to sew the head on. So I position it, just kind of look at it, make sure, again, I like to leave where I've finished off my round to the back of the work. So I'll start stitching there. Position your head, kind of center it. And beginning on maybe round nine or 10 of where the brown area, which is on the head itself and then working back several. So this is a little more difficult sitting on a table like this. You may want to just hold this in your lap. And you're going to work around your stitches and around the rows, trying to make sure you keep it facing forward. Stop every now and then, take a look to make sure Now also, you may want to add a little more fiber fill. I think I will. So his head is not so wobbly, and you can make it loose or not. I want to make sure that the neck is firm, that'll hold his head. So before you completely, before you even start stitching the head, or like right now, I've noticed that I, I want it a little more firm. Add a little more fiber fill. And you can position that around once it's stitched. Can 
move it around a little bit. There we go. That's good. Weave this back and forth. And then up through the back. It just kind of keeps it intact. Clip your ends. And then we're going to position the arms, one on each side. So we're going to come down maybe a couple of rounds. And I like to start from the back. Hold these pieces, to the, the ends together. And again, just kind of eyeball this on where you would like to place it. across a couple of times. Fasten that off. All right, and we have him finished. This is Speedy. Place the hat on his head. Now the hat does come off, so you may want to just take a little bit of gray yarn and tack it down. But let me introduce Speedy the Sloth. And if you have any questions, you can contact us via email, help at askacrafter.com. I love to crochet.